percentage yield calculations. Well, what exactly is percentage yield? It's trying to introduce a level of reality to chemical calculations. Most calculations assume a complete success, whereas in reality, complete success is highly unlikely. You often end up with far less product than you think you should get. So really, percentage yield is looking to compare how much you think you would get if it was a complete success against what you actually do get because it isn't a complete success. It's really a two-step calculation. A, work out how much you should get. B, compare it with what you actually did get. Let's have a look at this calculation here. Now, this calculation is based on making an ester. This is the first time where percentage yield crops up. And it's really because esterification is a reversible reaction and will not be completely successful. It asks us that if 12 grams of ethanoic acid produced 13.2 grams of the ester, calculate the percentage yield. How successful was that? Does that represent complete success or complete disaster or somewhere in between? Well, you're usually given some help in this calculation. You'd probably be given the equation. There's our ethanoic acid, there's our ester. Also, we know from this equation that one mole of the acid gives one mole of the ester. Also, probably told that one mole of the acid weighs 60 grams and one mole of the ester weighs 88 grams. So let's work out, first of all, how much we should get, how much ester should we get, starting with 12 grams. Well, according to this, 60 grams should give that. If this was a complete success, 60 grams of acid should give 88 grams of ester. On that basis, how much ester would we expect to get starting with just 12 grams of the acid? Obviously, far less. If it's going to be less than 88, we make the 88 less. 88 made less by putting the 12 on top and the 60 below. If we do this calculation, it comes out at 17.6 grams. 17.6 grams is how much ester we should be getting. Now, compare that with what we actually did get. In reality, we only got 13.2 grams, so obviously it wasn't a complete success. So, what we're saying is we actually got only 13.2 grams, when it's a so-called theoretical yield, what we thought we would get was actually 17.6. So we, we compare what we did get with what we thought we get. And if we express that as a percentage, this one comes to 75%. In other words, 13.2 grams is only 75% of what we thought we would get. It's 75% successful. Why is it only 75% successful? Well, one of the reasons that it said is it's a reversible reaction. Let's try another one. Another well-known reversible reaction is the Haber process. And uh, here we have a question. This time the question is in tons. It would appear to be more difficult, but it isn't. Again, the question is, 1.8 tons of hydrogen produced 2.04 tons of ammonia. What's the percentage of this thing? Is this represent a complete success or not? Once again, we're given the equation. Once again, we pick out the chemicals which matter. We've got the hydrogen, there's the hydrogen there, and we've got the ammonia, there's the ammonia there. As always, we, we focus on the chemicals which matter. Right, according to this equation, three moles of ammonia give, three moles of hydrogen gives two moles of ammonia. In other words, six grams of hydrogen should give 34 grams of ammonia if it was a complete success. First hurdle to overcome. This is tons. Now, you don't want to express these tons in terms of thousands of grams. Why don't we just do this? If six grams gives 34 grams, then six tons will give 34 tons. Yeah, problem solved. If six tons gives 34 tons, then how much would you expect to get starting with just 1.8 tons of hydrogen? Okay, so let's do that. 1.8 tons of hydrogen should give us how much ammonia? Well, since this is less than 6 tons, we'll get less than 34. So this will be 34 made smaller. 
take the 34 and make it smaller by putting the smaller number on top and the larger number below. And if we do this little calculation, it comes to 10.2 tons. 10.2 tons is what we would expect to get if it was a complete success, 100% successful. But we only got 2.04 tons, so obviously we're falling well short of the mark. How successful or unsuccessful is this? There's a theoretical year. We got only 2.04 tons, but we should have got 10.2 tons. If we want to express this as a percentage, multiply by 100, do the sum, and this one comes to 20%. So this is only one-fifth successful, 20% yield. You know, when it comes to the hammer process, that's the way it is. The hammer process is not a very successful process. It, uh, it does work, it does make ammonia, but you only get a very small amount of ammonia for all that you put in. You might remember that um, the substances are endlessly recycled to keep the process going. Anyway, there it is. Percentage yield is simply taking a normal calculation one step further.